hi good morning good afternoon good evening this is princess you're welcome to the deeper life bible church singles if you're new here you're very welcome to this channel here we talk about christian relationship how to uh, marry a godly man a godly woman how to know that you are with the right person and how to go on to build a happy christian home today quickly uh, we're going to talk about um love what is love how do you know that you are in the right relationship how do you know that this person that you are with is the right person for you i'll be looking quickly um i have my note here um how do you know that this love that is being professed to you is the right one uh, romans we're christians here so we always like to um, refer to the bible and in romans chapter um, 12 from verse 9 it tells us, us the king james version says that love should be without dissimulation in other words other other translations say love should be without harm love does no harm now what's the difference between real love and counterfeit love what's the difference between the two real love is the kind of love that does not harm you okay that's the literal meaning of real love it does no harm it does not hurt you it does not harm you first in that relationship have a self-examination examine your relationship with that person how is it going are your emotions like tangled? Um, are they uh, a mess? Is there fear? Are you are afraid in that relationship. Do you wake up in the night all of a sudden and you're scared and you are you are fidgeting and you don't know what you're scared about? You just have this feeling that you are doing something wrong. If you are experiencing any of these things, then go back to the drawing table and find out what's going on in your relationship do you have guilt like do, does does your partner make you feel guilty every time for 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 whatever reason like they always make you feel guilty they always make you feel that you're the bad person and um does it create emotions of like anger towards your partner? Like, why does he make me feel like this? And I love him, and but he still makes me feel really bad, really shitty. And are you confused? If all of these things are existing in, in your relationship presently, you need to find out if you are actually in the place that you ought to be. Is this the kind of relationship that you want to go into for the rest of your life? Is this the ideal thing for you? Is this what you want? Those are some of the questions that you should be asking yourself. First of all, address the issue. Okay? Discuss with this person. If there is something, there is an ongoing issue, there is something that they are doing to you, there is something that they are saying to you, there is something that is just not working between the both of you. You need to address the issue. Let them know how their behavior, how their comportment, how their words are affecting you and how deeply hurt you are. Then now you have to watch out how they react. How do they react? Someone that loves you and you tell them that you are hurting because of whatever reason, they should react in some certain way. But when you watch their reaction and this person does not care, they dismiss your feeling. They act as if like they respond in denial, like they don't know what, what you're talking about, they don't they're not conscious of how you feel. Then you need to come to the conclusion and settle it within yourself that love is not any of these things. Love is not a self-serving or manipulative situation, it's not a relationship of just one-sided you you care for me you serve me you do my bidding you do as as i want you to do you do only what is best for me that is not love it's not a controlling relationship it's not a manipulative relationship 
where the person only calls you when they need something from you where the only reason why this person is with you is because of what you have and if for any reason what you have now is no longer there they are no longer with you that is not love love is not manipulative they don't manipulate you you know with love and say if you love me then you should do this for me you should do that for me you should be this for me you should be that for me if you love me that reminds us of delilah and and um samson delilah was crying uh, i mean not delilah sorry oh yeah delilah yeah delilah delilah and samson so delilah tricked samson into losing his power through a manipulative pattern okay she went through the process and he was lying to her at different interval and it was clear that this girl wanted his, his downfall but samson was not emotionally intuitive enough to know that there was something about this relationship and that this is not a constructive relationship but it was rather a destructive relationship because she will go on and say the first time that when she when she found that she thought that she had his power his his secret she will do whatever it is and then she will yell the philistines are upon you and he will break maybe the, the the ropes that she used to tie him and then he will find that there were actually philistines this is not a joke it was no longer a joke so it was obvious from all indication that this girl wanted the downfall of Samson. Samson was not aware or refused to be aware or decided to be blinded by love because some people say love is blind but this kind of love, blind love that he had is a destructive one and eventually in the story you realize that this destructive love that he was courting was what led to the loss of his eyes and eventually his death. So love is not manipulative. A love that manipulates you to do things that you do not want to do generally that you wouldn't do generally is not the right kind of love. A love that manipulates you to do something that you wouldn't have done and afterwards you feel bad is not the right kind of love. Love does, does not create a need for control, a fear-driven need for control. Some people, they... They, they just want to be controlling. They want to be in charge. They want to control your life. They want to control your choices. They want to control your mind. They want to control your decision. They want to control everything about you. That's not love. Love is not that fear that's in, 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 imputed into your partner because you want to control them. You first make them afraid of you. And when they are afraid of you, you start to control them. You start to manipulate them you take away their power of choice that is not love love what I, what is love the definition of love is simple like jesus christ did dying on the cross for us love is compassionate love is self-giving love is gifts of itself gives all love is willing to give so that the other party can be happy love is willing to give so that your loved one, your partner, your spouse, your fiancé is happy. You are ready to give even your life. You are ready to give part of yourself. You are, you are ready to, to do anything, to go out of your way. Of course, within the will of God. Okay, You are ready to go out of your way to make them happy. If you would go 10,000 miles you know, to help them to, to get something, you would go miles to help them in their career, like getting them materials, giving them tips, you know, sharing from your knowledge to make you make them better. That is love. It's self-giving. It gives of yourself, your what you have, what is dear to you, like what, what you have, what is there in you, your capacity, your capability, your wisdom, you know, your experience. You, you're willing to share with them to make them better people, better than when you met them. Love must be sincere. Any love that's not sincere, that is deceptive, is not love. Love must be born out of sincerity. Sincerity. 
love must be born out of deep sincerity. Love is a joyful commitment to each other's well-being. It's a joyful commitment. You are happy that the other person is fine. Yet your partner is happy. You are happy. That is love. The well-being of your partner, the well-being of your fiancé, the well-being of this person that you say you love is your joy. That is love. That is love. In an ideal relationship, where godly love exists, we can trust each other. Love has trust. It is love that will cause no harm. That is love. Love that will not inflict injury. That is love. This is just a reminder that not all that passes for love is genuine. There is non-genuine love and it's easy to detect it. The Bible says by their fruit you shall know them. A, a tree, orange tree, can not, never produce an apple. So if someone is not nice from within, it will come out. It will come out. These are things that do not hide for too long. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. They might say it's just triggers, but when you see a pattern and it's something that reoccurs over and over again, you know that this is a pattern that you need to be aware of and you need to be wary of. This is a question that I leave for you. Can you see that you love your partner or that they love you? In their actions, through their words, in their comportment, do you say, can you say, can you say assuredly without a doubt that they love you or that you love them? Bonus tip, you need to cut ties with anyone, no matter how close you are to them, no matter how nice they are, no matter how much you, th you think you can benefit from them. As long as that relationship, that person is causing you harm, pain, rather than gain, rather than progress, rather than you getting better, rather than um, fulfillment, rather than peace, rather than, you know, well-being. Anybody that does not cause you any of these good things that you should be expecting, as it says in, as it tells us in this Romans chapter 12 verse 9 anything that is short of this that you experience with this person you need to cut ties with them as long as there is no there is no care there is no love there is no kindness you need to cut ties with them no matter how close they are to you in your own best interest you need to cut ties with such people I hope that you are blessed by this video. If you've watched it up to this point, do well to subscribe. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to our, our channel. Hit the notification bell below and so that you can be alerted whenever we post new videos. And um, we're happy to read your comments. We like to see um, your contribution. Whatever it is, whatever topic you want us to discuss, please let us know and we'll be happy to talk about them uh, in our next videos. Uh, look forward to a podcast that will be coming uh, very soon. I hope that you are blessed and that I will see you on another video. God bless you. Until next time, uh, may God give us an answer of peace. Bye.